programs for one uh, from from top to bottom. And I have another one with me right now, Tom DeAugustino. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Uh, this is a passion of yours. This is uh, tell us how you became interested in the paranormal. Well, I've always been interested since I was a very small child, and uh, I grew up in a house that was haunted. But at 12 years old, I saw my very first ghost or apparition, and none other than what would be Hopkins Mill near Ramtail. And I must say, you never forget your first ghost. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. 29 years now. <laughs> there you go. Um, all right, so tell us a little bit more about your experience in filming Haunted R.I. Is this the first uh, film that you've done, or have you done others before? And um, I've done a few others, but this one was incredible. I mean, working with Jason and Christian and Brian was awesome. I mean, they were excellent professionals, and we had a lot of fun. And, I mean, we were serious business, too, in trying to capture evidence at Ramtown and everything. But it was a really great, awesome experience I'll never forget. Now, uh, you said Ram Ramtown goes back to your childhood, so tell us a little bit about that ex whole experience. Well, that was uh, when I was 12 years old. I was fishing in Hopkins Mills right near Ramtail, and I saw what looked like a woman walk down by the pool, and she drew some water from a wooden bucket. And uh, she was barefoot, and I was thinking at 12 years old, we're out before, so I'm thinking, wow, you know, we're way out in the middle of nowhere. Later, I would read that uh, this woman was supposedly uh, Dolly Cole, but I found out later it was a woman named Betsy Grayson who actually drowned out near Ramtail. She was squatting in the old houses. Very interesting. I mean, and that's, and that's essentially, uh, you know, the paranormal, everybody has this perception that the paranormal is, is evil. It's not necessarily evil. It's usually somebody that's, you know, had a bad experience in their life and they're just there still. So it's, well, am I right? Yes, yes. A lot of times it's just uh, the energy still remaining and uh, people wouldn't want to live places they hated, so. Right. And it's probably the same for uh, for ghosts as well. They wouldn't want to be where they hated either. So, so um, why do you feel that? Uh, and I asked this question of our of, a lot of our last guest. And why do you feel that Rhode Island is the most haunted state? Oh, Rhode Island is. Uh Per capita is easily the most haunted state. When I wrote the books in the New England series, uh, Rhode Island had more per size, at least triple per size than anywhere else. And it's just such an old, settled place full of diversity that uh, a lot can happen over those many, you know, 300 something years. Plus, we have the Indians who were here way before us. Right. So, I mean, there's an awful lot of uh, history here to steep. Yeah. Well, Tom, thank you very much for coming in. I hope we can have you back again sometime. Oh, thank you. It's an honor. And then, you know, he brings, Tom brings up a very interesting point. You know, there's so much in the paranormal in this state that, you know, doing a one documentary probably just doesn't justify all the interesting stories that are out there. So we're committed to bringing you more of those stories, but the only way we can bring you those stories is for you to call. You've got to support us so that we can bring you those, these types of stories. 877-927-9000.